Shabbat Shalom, this week's Torah portion, Ki contains the greatest number of mitzvot, commandments, of any Torah portion. Seventy-four mitzvot are found in this parsha, focusing on everything from the treatment of captives, defiant children, lost animals, the poor, laws of inheritance, fair weights and measures, what to do when your neighbor's ox falls into a pit, who you are allowed to marry, even prohibitions against planting two different kinds of seeds in the same field. This amazing compilation of mitzvot may seem random at times, yet there is a guiding principle that reminds us not to be indifferent to the people and to the world around us. We must care for others as well as for ourselves. There is one of these commandments that I've always thought about. Deuteronomy chapter 22, verse 6. If walking along the road you chance upon a bird's nest, and the mother is sitting over the fledglings or on the eggs, do not take the mother together with her young. Let the mother go and take only the young in order that you may fare well and have a long life. The Talmud labels this mitzvah as the lightest, the most insubstantial of all of the commandments, probably, probably because it takes such a little effort to perform. Commentators in every generation have wondered why there is such an extravagant reward, a good long life, for such a trivial act. The same reward is specified in the Torah for honoring your parents, yet that commandment takes a lifetime. Why is the lightest of commandments rewarded as much as the weightiest? Perhaps it is to teach us to treasure and observe all the commandments equally. For the reward of any mitzvah is immeasurable. Every act is of immense significance. Therefore, no act is inherently trivial. Maimonides writes in his Laws of Repentance that every person should consider himself or herself as perfectly balanced between good and bad, and the world is perfectly balanced between good and evil. The next action you take, however trivial, can tilt you and the whole world towards the side of good and life or the side of evil and death. That choice is up to you. Choose wisely. Shabbat Shalom.